I love the extra hour of daylight. Look at that out there. Oddly, sleep researchers say if you get a lot of exposure to bright light during the day, like you're seeing right here, it could improve your sleep at night. How? Turn off those lights. Let me show you. Okay, you're letting your eyes adjust here. This is good. At night, even the natural light coming in through the window can disturb your sleep. In fact, if you can clearly see items in your bedroom, and I want you to take a look at this. If you can see the fan that's on the right, you see the outline of the pillows. How about you see that water bottle that's on the nightstand? Well, there's simply too much light in this room. Getting exposure to light during the day helps protect you from some of this natural light at night about two hours before you actually go to bed. Start dimming it down. And then in your room, be, be aware of the light sources. Be aware of that and try to block that out. A new study from Northwestern Medicine shows being exposed to even moderate light during sleep can harm cardiovascular functions, increase your insulin resistance, which are risk factors for heart disease, diabetes, and metabolic syndrome. When you're sleeping with the lights on, your heart rate goes up during the entire night while you're sleeping. And then the next day, your glucose measurements it showed that more insulin had to be secreted to be able to bring your glucose to a normal level. Now, exposure to artificial light during sleep is pretty common. It's estimated up to 40% of people sleep with the TV on or a bedside lamp or some kind of light on in the room. So what you want to do is you want to block outdoor light with those blackout shades or eye masks. You want to keep the light color in mind. For instance, red or orange light is less stimulating for your brain. So keep white or blue light away from your bedside. And if you need a light in the bedroom, make it dim and close to the floor.